Sunday afternoon, sun is shining and the barbecue is on. This is the uh, day after going out last night with the Astro Dwarf Telescope. Having a relaxing afternoon, had a wee sleep in this morning because I was out late last night. And uh, yeah, this is what I got up to. So here I am Saturday night, not going out clubbing or going to the pub, instead driving to the Scottish borders to try and get some nice dark skies. Now where I'm going tonight uh, is not a bottle 2, I'm going to head down to somewhere which is bottle 3 to 3.5, which is not too bad because then I live in a bottle 6. Now I've decided not to take the caravan and spend the night as I was going to. There's a few things I want to do tomorrow so I am just going to be out to the wee hours of the morning and then head home, get a bit of a sleep so I can get some stuff done tomorrow uh, which will be Sunday. I'm not sure what to do. Hello, it's Stuart here. I thought I would just interject here so you don't have to listen to me twattling on in the car uh, for another few minutes. Basically all I was trying to uh, say was that I wasn't sure what to do when I got to those lovely dark skies. Would it be better going for multiple long length exposures of a single target and making the most of those dark skies? Or to make the most of the dark skies, maybe look at different targets, things I haven't done, maybe star clusters, uh, galaxies, nebulars, uh, and, and give the opportunity for the Dwarf 2 to hit a few different targets. Uh, ultimately, I decided to go with one object, and that is the Whirlpool Galaxy. And that's what you're going to see next. There's still a bit of light in the horizon, so um, it's not completely dark yet. Um, but it does give me a chance to get set up, uh, get the Dwarf 2 up, get it running, and um, get myself ready to go. I've got my uh, coffee to keep me going. So uh, I should be fine. I should survive until I either feel too tired um, or I've done the imaging I want to do. Um, I've got the um, Sky Safari. I'll have a look at that. I'll, I'll try and find out what's going to be visible from my locale, what's up now, what's coming up throughout the night, and I'll make a decision based on that. But right now, let's get uh, the Dwarf 2 set up and um, get ready to go. Hmm, where have I seen this before? Whoa! That's a Dwarf 2 all set up uh, outside. Uh, the only thing that's annoying me today um, is there's a bit of a breeze, so hopefully it's not going to cause too much vibration. I have lowered the tripod, I'm not extending its neck, so hopefully it's a bit more stable. Right, so let's get the Dwarf 2 uh, software open. Let's get the Dwarf 2 calibrated. Um, it's already starting to get quite dark outside, so hopefully that's going to give me a chance to start imaging fairly soon. Okay, let's get on with that. Okay then, so let's get the uh, Dwarf 2 software open. Let's get the Dwarf 2 connected. I uh, don't think it's actually connection. Now, there we go, connection. I'm going to put my Wi-Fi on. I need to turn my Wi-Fi on. That's a great idea. I'm a Bluetooth. 
let's go back now let's go back stop that right got our jar two seen and found great then so let's get it focused and calibrated so i'm going to tilt it up quite high i'm going to pull it around to what i think are the darker skies aha uh -huh, i already see my first star first stars i should say let's go to astro mod and we'll go to features Okay, it seems to be working now. That was a strange one. Okay, we're calibrated. So the go to should be working. Let's check it. Go to Triangle and Galaxy. below the horizon there were another whirlpools above the horizon so let's just go with that can't really see it at the moment let's uh we're going to go for 15 second exposures, 8 to gain. Oh yeah, it is there in the middle. You can just make out the start of it there. Okay, let's image this then. Right there on top of the moon We could sit and do nothing I wish we were both To just fly away I don't want to care Okay, that's that finished doing M51, the Whirlpool Galaxy. That was 400 frames, 15 second exposure, 8 to gain. So that's complete now. What you see I'm doing now is having a little play with the stretch, uh, some somewhat haphazardly. Uh, obviously just trying to get better contrast between uh, the dark, the background and the image itself to try and reduce the amount of noise. And actually you can see um, the Whirlpool Galaxy, you can definitely see some of those spiral arms. Must admit I'm very impressed with this little telescope, it's doing a fantastic job. By far that is the best image I've ever taken of a galaxy. Really impressed with the Dwarf 2 and what it's capable of. Uh, obviously I'll be bringing you more content at ASAP as the skies allow. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you have please like and subscribe. And remember to look up, you just don't know what you might see. Take care. Thanks very much. Bye.